The success of any business relies heavily on the ability of product and go-to-market teams to work closely together. When teams are not properly aligned, it can lead to significant disruption that can negatively impact the entire organization. Hi, I'm Sophie Lalonde, Group Product Manager at Product Board, the customer-centric product management platform that helps organizations get the right products to market faster. Let's talk today about product collaboration with customer-facing teams and the pitfalls that come with organization misalignment. IDC has projected that by 2024, companies with intelligent and collaborative work environments will achieve a 30% surge in productivity and revenue per employee compared to their competitors. However, without the right processes in place, developing a collaborative work culture between product and other departments can be quite difficult. And if teams are misaligned, the cost to the business is substantial. In this video, we're gonna explore the five common problems that occur when product teams fail to align with the rest of the business and how you can avoid them. Problem number one, a lack of cross-organizational alignment equals unclear goals and a flurry of one-off feature requests. As a product leader, it's important to be honest with yourself about whether your product team is on the same page as the rest of the business. Everything should start with a clearly defined product strategy that is influenced by the overall company strategy. You should also focus on the ideal customer profile, AKA the segment you wanna go after that all the departments have agreed upon. And if you're not aligned on those critical points, you're likely gonna find departments working at odds with one another. For example, your marketing or sales team might be positioning your product in a way that's misaligned with how your product team's actually building it. This can lead to confusion or churn when customers can't make sense of the conflicting stories they're hearing. Problem number two, siloed functions equals disappointed customers. When the product team works in a silo, the world of go-to-market and customer-facing teams does not stop turning. You don't wanna find yourself in a situation where sales and customer success teams are making unrealistic promises to customers about if and when specific features will be released. And on the other side, it's equally problematic if the product team meets with a customer and hasn't been properly briefed or even had the right conversations with those customer facing teams. It's essential to keep in mind that a product is not just about the features you build, it's about the holistic experience that comes along with it. Problem number three, lack of transparency equals lost feedback and frustrated customer facing teams. Although the industry best practice is for product teams to speak with customers directly on a regular basis, the reality is that customer-facing teams often become the conduit to customers, especially in larger companies. When the customer-facing team is the conduit to the customer, it's critical that they feel welcome to provide feedback on behalf of the customer, and they feel like the product team is taking it seriously. When this isn't the case, it creates friction and frustration. When the customer facing team spends hours submitting feedback and they have no idea what happened afterwards, they'll likely stop submitting valuable feedback altogether. We call this the product is a black box curse. Problem number four, a lack of trust in product equals someone else takes over. When there's no confidence in the product team, it's easy for another discipline to take over leading the direction of your product. In a sales led organization, you might find yourself building bespoke features for specific customers with no overarching product or market strategy. If you're customer success led, then you're likely gonna focus on building features to keep customers from churning, but ignore new revenue opportunities. And on the other side of the spectrum, marketing led organizations might be looking too far in the future and not necessarily meeting the needs of today's customers. That is why it's so crucial for product teams to build trust amongst stakeholders so product can take the lead and keep everyone aligned around a holistic product vision that truly provides value to the customer's best. Problem number five, a lack of collaboration equals failed products. There's a lot of cross-team coordination that goes into successfully bringing new products to market. This can include tasks like effectively working with product marketing so that the value prop speaks to customer problems or collecting customer quotes for social proof. And even after the launch happens, there's more follow-up work to ensure adoption with customer success so the customers are truly using everything they asked to be built. But none of these things will happen if product isn't aligned with the rest of the business and encouraging that collaboration. This means all the hard work that you've put into building the product for the feature and the investment is wasted 
as a launch fails to deliver the desired impact. In fact, over 60% of products and features released go unused. But don't worry. Now that you're familiar with the five problems that occur when there's a disconnect between product and the business, let's review how building a collaborative culture will drive success. When the product teams take charge of improving the coordination and collaboration within the organization, they're able to facilitate better communication between different departments and stakeholders. As a result, the organization as a whole will experience a number of positive outcomes. So essentially these outcomes at a high level mean you can keep everyone aligned and informed. You can become a trusted partner across the business and you can improve customer outcomes together. First and foremost, keeping everyone aligned and informed involves providing the right level of transparency into your team's work, easily justifying product decisions, and equipping colleagues with the relevant, timely product information. One of the most effective ways to make this happen is by creating and sharing customized product roadmaps across the entire company. Effective roadmaps tailored to your exact audience's needs and always up to date will provide your key stakeholders with just the right level of detail. The next positive outcome is achieved when product teams become a trusted business partner. Transparent, collaborative product teams create a space where every stakeholder feels confident and encouraged in providing that valuable feedback, insights, and ideas. This inclusive approach not only makes everyone feel heard and acknowledged, but also empowers them to see firsthand the meaningful impact they can have on a company's offerings. A product management platform like Product Board can enhance the feedback process when you integrate your cross-functional tools such as Salesforce and Slack. This enables cross-functional teams to easily submit feedback and relevant context. And finally, we can all win the customer together when ensuring the customer's entire product experience is amazing. When product encourages an open dialogue and makes everyone feel like their input matters, it creates a sense of ownership and pride in the product, which ultimately benefits the business. This united front translates to a united customer experience. Achieving all of these outcomes will unlock new business value for your company, while creating a closer connection between what product is delivering and your company's overarching goals. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, or tell us how you've overcome those product collaboration challenges in the comments below. You know, all the YouTube things. To learn more about reuniting the business with better product collaboration, check out our new ebook. We'll be linking it in the description box below. Thanks for watching.